John was born prematurely. And John Lee always says he was ready for the world. The world wasn't ready for him. He had um, a diaphragmatic hernia, which was undiagnosed. He needed an extensive surgery at birth. His delays didn't actually concern me because I just figured he had been through such a traumatic, encompassing thing that being delayed wasn't a big deal. I was at a delicatessen. And John Lee was in my arms, and the woman behind me said, he has cerebral palsy, right? And I was like, no. And her face, I'll never forget her face, she was just shocked. A little bit after the age of one, they confirmed that he had cerebral palsy. We weren't exactly sure what that diagnosis meant, um, what the future would really hold. So at his IEP meeting, they had spoken about Juanio, and Juanio had this summer program. They said, it's not really a program, it's camp. But I did, you know, call and get information, and immediately, I mean, the people were just wonderful. It certainly made sense. I mean, my child was delayed, and Juanio was offering education services. They were offering physical therapy through the summer. That's how it started. Joanio really was as much of an education for me as it was for John Lee. It was very apparent that John Lee was, loved sports, particularly baseball. The therapist would come up with every possible way to incorporate sports into the session. They really found the seed in each child. I expected that he would be taking steps. You know, would he be doing cartwheels on the lawn? No, I don't think so. To see him upright, walking, in a place where he loves to be, surrounded by people who are so motivated and so supportive, it had to be one of the most beautiful things that I have ever experienced. And that was just the magic of Joanio. Back in the day, I would take John to his pediatrician in Pomona. They were building something there. And John Lee was like, Mom, let's go see. I'm like, hey, this is going to be a baseball stadium. And John was in awe of the stadium. He was like, I have to be there. I have to work there. I want to go to opening day. And of course, I was like, you know, we will, we will. There was a job fair and um, we went and there was lots of tables there. But where does John go? To the table with the boulders. Johnny has a skill set that others don't have. I mean, he has, a, he has ability to inspire and motivate people with his disabilities. He doesn't realize how impactful he is to those around him. Make some noise for everybody's hero, Johnny Bowles! Joanio. They gave him a moment that he will never forget. They gave him a moment that when he has had serious medical issues, serious setbacks, that he's reached back into his mind and either called up that memory, or we've called up pictures, called up the video, and we're able to have that to help get him through some of very, some very difficult times. The Boulders and Juanio have a long, great relationship, and, and I hope the Boulders can be as impactful in the community as Juanio is. We try to pride our organization after the way Juanio operates and helps all these people in the community, and I tell my staff we need to give back like they do. And, you know, Juani was wonderful. I mean, it's a great asset for Rockland County. Good workout? Yes, very good workout. Any time that John can be upright, let alone take steps, is just a culmination of not only what I hope but what so many people who have worked with John for all of these years, you know, the, the teachers at the Juanio Summer Program, the therapists, they have no idea what they gave him. Helping my son understand that he has a purpose. It's not too difficult to think where we would be if Juanio was never in our life, because honestly, 
it seems like so often everything leads back to that summer program at Juanio. Jerry Stoller used to say to us, part of the Juanio family, this is when we were, when John Lee was little. Back then, did I think part of the family meant when he's 30 years old? No, I didn't think that. 29 years later, and we are still family. The funds for Juanio go to the children, go to the programs. What better way to spend money to make a donation than to literally helping someone's life? Thank you, Juanio, for being such an important part of our life, past, present, and I'm sure future. Thank you.